hello one and all welcome to my tricks online youtube classes in this video i will bring to you the best topics and finest time sequence of quantitative aptitude lecture 39 this video will be in english language and this is an ideal platform for the aspirants who are preparing for all government jobs So my aim is to discuss all the topics of 34 that is from operations on numbers to line graphs and so far we have discussed up to 10 units that is up to a percentage and now we are on the unit profit and loss. So the topic that we are going to look onto it today is profit and loss part 1. So since it is a big topic and also an important one so i just wanna make them several parts in order to understand or make you more better understanding so generally before moving on to this topic we need to know some of the keywords and the concepts so that the, the basic terms that we need to remember in this topic is first one cost price selling price profit or and loss so the cost price or factor price what it means really so the price at which the which an article or part is purchased or else it is made which is termed as a cost price but whenever we move into the industrial policy so we will consider the cost price at which the product is made but in the market we will consider only the cost price that is whatever we we are purchased at uh, if I purchased a thing at 11 rupees I need to consider only as the 11 as a cost price I don't have to remember all those things that uh, what the factors involved and what was the factor price in the factory itself so the cost price of the factory may be uh, 9 or 8 but whenever it comes to me I will only consider that as the 11 as the cost price because I bought it to the 11 rupees okay and uh, selling price the price at which an article is sold so if I bought a thing for 11 rupees and it sold for the 14 rupees uh, whether I got the profit or loss that is no matter but selling price is nothing but 14 if I had to sell it for the 9 rupees even though I will consider 9 as the selling price because I sold it to the 9 rupees okay and also profit profit can be also represented by gain advantage or benefit okay the difference between the amount earned and the amount spent in buying so if I bought a thing for 15 rupees and I sold it to the 20 rupees meanwhile I have got the 5 rupees as an advantage that is as a profit but here the condition is what selling price must be greater than cost price the there is only the condition we can get the profit or otherwise that will leads to a loss do not try to buy hurt anything uh, it is just a simple concept so profit is nothing but selling price must be more than cost price because uh, otherwise i won't get any profit right i would leave that would lead to me loss so the difference between the amount spent in buying and the amount earned so loss is can be written loss can be written as cost price minus selling price so here cost price is greater than selling price so know all the differences between them so there won't be any thing or any need for you to buy hurt anything just no concept that is itself that is enough okay so from this topic that is profit and loss i have uh, followed uh, and another approach that is uh, in the first class itself I will explain all the concepts so from the second class or third class itself I will be starting the my MCQs so that uh, in the first and second class you will know how many kinds of problems of our approaches in this topic okay so first of all basic formula formula one that is gain what is gain gain or profit we will consider whenever the selling price is greater than cost price clear 
so if the cost price is 10 rupees and i have sold it to the 12 rupees so the profit is 2 rupees so this thing is nothing but gain or profit and loss if the condition is reversed the cost price is nothing but 12 and selling price is nothing but 10 rupees here the condition is what even i can apply the same formula that is cost price minus selling price so i will obtain minus 2 as the value so the minus means loss so loss okay and also gain percent so earlier we have discussed a percentage uh, problems right so from there onwards uh, we came to know that how we are gonna use this percentage so percentage is nothing but 1 by 100 okay so because the percentage goes this side and it will become 1 by 100 right so so gain into percentage means 1 by 100 right 1 by 100 is equals to gain by cost price into 100 okay clear and loss percentage is nothing but loss whatever the loss is so here gain is what 2 rupees and the cost price is 10 rupees by 100 so the gain is 20 percent and here also the the loss is 2 rupees and the cost price is not 10 rupees here it is here here 12 rupees right into 100 so six times uh, which is going to be get cancelled out in 16.66 uh, times 16 by 16 2 by 3 times percentage is the loss percentage know the difference between these two okay and here is a note is given that is loss or gain loss percentage or gain percent is always reckoned on cost price which means cost price must be in the denominator places denominator cost price must be there uh, sometimes they may give you only selling price but they won't give you cost price in that place you need to tackle the first value of the cost price then you need to find the value of the percentages of profit or gain a question one is given that is a cost price is 100 rupees and selling price is 120 what is profit and percentage profit so here in the question one there were two questions so by clearly by looking on them i can know that is uh, cost price is 100 and selling price is 120 so that profit is obviously 20 rupees right and the profit percentage is always reckoned on cost price itself so profit percentage is equals to 20 by cost price is 100 into 100 okay so a zero zeros and zeros all zeros cancels out and 20 percent is the profit percentage and also profit is also 20 and now cost price is 500 and selling price is 475 here the value is getting decreased that means loss what is the loss or loss percentage so reverse the value reverse the formula cost price minus selling price is 25 rupees so obviously we know that uh, here the loss is there so loss is 25 and they had asked you to find the percentage loss what is the percentage loss here so 25 is the loss and with respect to the cost price that is 500 into 100 okay 5 cancels out in 5 times so the percentage loss is 5 percentage okay 5 percentage loss so the model 2 formulas are selling price can be written as gain and cost price gain plus cost price this is not a rocket science here just we have already discussed that the gain is nothing but selling price minus cost price in terms of gain only okay in terms of loss means it will, they these two will reversed okay selling price minus cost price so here i want to find the selling price so it will obviously becomes gain plus cost price it is nothing but here given okay and also this can be written as selling price equals to 
100 plus gain percentage if uh, 20 percent is is given as the gain and if they had asked you to find the cost price or, or selling price selling price we have already known that the gain is 20 percent and the cost price is 100 rupees if it is cost price is 100 rupees and 20 percent is obviously the gain percent so 120 percent of that cost price gives you the selling price clear so 120 percent is of cost price so percentage of means 1 by 100 right so that's why i wrote here as a by 100 so 120 percent is of cost price is nothing but selling price here in terms of profit and in terms of loss so if the if there is 20 percent loss so selling price is going to be 80 percent is of cost price okay the cost price is 100 and 80 percent means what 80 by 100 so selling price is obviously becomes 80 rupees okay so here the selling price is going to be 120 rupees clear and also if they had asked you to find the cost price okay cost price not not selling price cost price but in terms of gain the uh, selling price minus cost price is gain right so cost price is nothing but what selling price minus gain this goes this side and also this goes this side so cost price is nothing but selling price minus gain so gain can be written as if I want to find the cost price those two things will get reversed okay reverse to this term uh, there is no rocket science if you make this thing this side this will obviously becomes this formula okay uh, or else you directly remember that uh, whether it is a loss or gain please remember that cost price is nothing but either gain or loss loss or gain percentage of selling price remember this formula that's it. that is enough so if you if you want to find the selling price you take this term to this side either loss or gain or if you want to find the cost price directly find it okay so remember these formulas do not by heart anything i'll give some of the tips in the problem solving so you would know easily no worries okay and find a selling price when cost prices are given so condition one and condition two given that is gain and loss percentages and if i want to find the selling price for the above conditions so selling price is nothing but the gain is given that is 20 percent right so 120 i can directly write write it as 120 percentage of means 1 by 100 into okay cost price is what 56.25 okay so 6 by 5 once once and uh, 25 which is nothing but uh, you can obtain the value of 67 point five zero okay this is nothing but selling price and also if they had asked you to find uh, whenever the loss is given so obviously the selling price formula is what loss is 15 percent so 15 percent loss means 15 100 minus 15 that is 85 85 percent is of given value that is 80.40 so by cancelling all those terms i will obtain 68.34 okay and the problem got reversed that is uh, find the cost price when selling price is given and gains and losses given so we know that cost price e to find the cost price we have already known that the selling price is equals to something percentage of cost price okay here the selling price is given we can write directly written as 40.6 so x percent that is given that is gain 
one one six by hundred into cost price. Okay, so forty point six zero into hundred is four zero six zero by one one six. So how many times? I think uh, thirty five times. Thirty five times is the cost price. And whenever the below condition is given, selling price is nothing but x percent is of cost price. Remember this formula. So loss is here twelve percent. So twelve percent means hundred minus twelve gives you the value. That is nine eighty eight percentage. Okay. And also selling price is nothing but fifty one point seven zero here, and eighty eight by hundred into x. So five one seven zero by eighty eight. So by cancelling those terms, I will obtain fifty eight point seven five. Okay. And third more one more important formula is if an article is sold at a gain of say thirty five percent, then selling price is nothing but one thirty five percent is of cost price. Earlier we have discussed the same thing here. Right, so I don't think I'm gonna give you additional example for this problem. So, if an article is sold at a loss of say thirty five percent, so selling price is nothing but sixty five percent is of cost price. Only the the thing you need to remember is whenever a gain is given, you need to add it to the hundred. Okay, and whenever the loss is given, you need to subtract it from the hundred. Okay. Hundred is the basic value. You need to put it anyway. So when a person sells two similar items, one at a gain of say x percent and other at a loss of x percent, then the seller always incurs loss given by. So you, even if you know this by looking at them or not, while we are solving the problem, you would know. So loss percentage is nothing but common loss or common gain percentage by ten whole square equals to x by ten whole square. The note is given here. The seller always incurs loss when a common loss and gain condition is given. Okay, please remember this word. Uh, this could be helpful in examination. Uh, if the article is sold for five percent. And another article is sold for the five percent loss, and when the cost prices are same, so the person always incurs loss. Okay. A question is given that a man sold two flats for six lakhs seventy-five thousand nine hundred and fifty-eight each. So there are two flats. On one, he gains sixteen percent. While on the other, he loses sixteen percent. How much does he gain or lose in the whole transaction? So clearly, a person bought two flat. Uh, sorry, sold two flats. One is at sixteen percent gain, and one is at sixteen percent loss. So. If I find the values of both of them, one is at one one six percentage of x, and another is at eighty four percentage of x. So if I find these two values and made them plus, and I equate them to the two into six seven five nine five eight, this will obviously lesser than the value of. Two into six seven five something else, okay? Or otherwise you have a direct formula that is uh, common loss is common loss or common gain is sixteen by ten whole square. Okay, hey eight by five whole square, which means sixty uh, four by twenty five into four into four. So Two forty, two forty, two fifty-six by hundred. 
so loss is 2.56 percentage here is the same okay and also let me clear you clarify with this problem so when 100 rupees an article is there and it is sold for 5 5 percent gain in one hand and 5 percent loss in other hand okay the common uh, cost price is now going to be 200 and if it is uh, sold at uh, 5 percent gain that is going to be 105 and it is sold at the 5 percent loss that is going to be 95 that is not the case but uh, i will explain it later in the upcoming problems okay if a trader professes to sell his goods at cost price but uses false weights then gain percentage is going to be error by true value minus error into 100 percent okay a dealer professes to sell his goods at cost price but uses a weight of 960 grams for a kg weight find his gain percentage so here the error value is nothing but 40 grams usually a kg consists of 1000 grams right so instead of 1000 grams he is giving only 40 percent i mean 40 grams lesser than the original one Oh, in that he is gaining 40 grams again and he is uh, claiming that uh, he is selling all those prices at the cost price itself but he uses a false weight that is 960 grams so in that he is gaining 40 grams uh, if each and every gram consists of uh, 1 rupee cost of 1 rupee so from this he is obtaining 40 rupees and also he is not using 1000 grams only 960 grams so uh, the result will be multiplied itself so the cost price is going to be 960 into 100 okay so 4 by 96 into 100 so error, error value is going to be 4 1 by 6 percentage so uh whenever he tries to sell by the false weights he is obtaining 4 1 by 6 percentage as the law, as the gain okay remember this and equivalent dis uh, discount find a single equivalent to a series discount 20 percent 10 percent 5 percent so if uh, if an object is given that cost price or labeled price is 100 so if i want to give successively a discount so what it going what it will become for the first discount it will become 20 percent is given so 80 percent remains 80 percent is of 100 it is nothing but 80 rupees and again it is given by 10 percent discount so 90 percent is of 80 now eight zero zero cancels then it's just 72 and also again five percent is given so 95 percent is of 100 into 72 whatever comes the value that will be the uh, successive uh, discount offer right so if i want to find the find this value directly so what would i need to do I can directly write this as 80 percentage by 100 into 90 by 100 into 95 by 100 into 100 that will give you directly the value okay you can directly find it by this way or else you could find uh, by following each and every single step this will take much time in uh, examinations please follow this rule and even they did not ask you to find the cost price of the after successive dis, uh, discounts but they had asked you to find the what was the discount equivalent discount so this uh, by obtaining this value uh, uh, by solving this value i may be able to find 68.5 or something right 
so this is the obtained value of cost price but if i if they had asked you to find the discount rate that is going to be 100 minus 68.5 so that is nothing but 31.5 percentage is the given successive discount for the above cost price of an object clear and so by the next video we will solve more, more problems so we will understand more so please subscribe to my channel make out tricks if you like this video please share this to your friends also so i will make more and more videos regarding this uh, quantitative aptitude mensuration and uh, reasoning parts also so please refer to your friends and uh, by by watching these videos you would not need any kind of coaching or preparation or you would not need any other websites to discuss or to make a role your role model so i i guess and i wish this is the very best channel for you to understand more so thanks for watching this video take care and prepare well for your examinations